This is a Flutter web app and this app is running on PHP server. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to run a dynamic app on PHP server using PHP MEMP server. Now let's go ahead and do it step by step. Now the first thing you need to do, go ahead and install MEMP server or XAMPP server. It doesn't really matter. They work the same way. MEMP is for iOS or Mac, actually Mac system and XAMPP is for Windows. Anyway, so make sure you go ahead and install it and I have tutorials for them so you can check them from link below. And after that we need to make sure that we compile our Flutter application. So to compile your Flutter application, Flutter build web, no tree shake icons, you can run it on your project root folder. So it is done and the generated compiled files are over here inside this build web. So here we see build folder and web folder and all these things that we need. So now the very first thing we're going to do open this project in a finder or in a new window and then we're going to head over to this build web we need to do you see that it says application map htdocs. So if you're on Windows or Mac, go ahead and find htdocs inside map server or XAMPP server. They work the same. Now to do that, I'm going to go ahead and come over here in my applications folder because I'm on Mac and I'm gonna find map. So if you're on Windows, go ahead and find XAMPP servers like that. Okay, and then over here, all you need to do, go ahead and find htdocs, okay? Now, I already have them over here, as you can see, okay? Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that, and then I'm going to copy all of them and paste here inside this htdocs. Okay, and that's, we are done. Now, we need to find our MAM server. I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to start it again. And then here I'm going to click on web start. So now here it took me to the default page of our MAMP server. But remember we are just running on port 888. So we don't need any of this. That means we are in the very root of our project. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And here you see that your project has loaded. Okay, so that's how you run a Flutter web app, a dynamic web app using PHP. Actually, we can go ahead and verify that. So here we are already logged in, as you can see. Uh, we can come to our different sections over here. And we can also go to our profile sections. And here we'll be seeing stuff like that. All right. Thank you.